My dad obviously had small basketballs or smaller balls, volleyballs, and then the rim would move up as I got older so I could shoot properly. Uh, so that was really good. Um, and then my confidence in myself was always at a high level about me shooting. To begin, watching him play was a lot tougher than, than watching him coach. I think that every parent you see will almost tell you the same thing, that watching your kid play is, is uh, a, lot more, a lot tougher. It really is. We always went to the high school games, and I sat up there and I kept score, <laughs> Bob score. And it got so, the kids around me come, how many did he make, Mrs. Thomas? <laughs> When I got into Division One, my kids were, I think, in eighth, seventh grade, ninth grade, something like that. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't away that much while they were growing up to that point. After that, you know, I watched them play ball, but I couldn't be there all the time. That's a pretty tough situation, you know, and you relying on your wife to do things more than you could do. So uh, I don't think, you know, when I went 25 years ago, Division One was different than it is now. Um, to me, the last eight years to, you know, six years, it's getting, to me, worse and worse with NCAs, with compliance, with firing coaches, with anything that goes wrong, somebody's fault, you know, all these things. I, I don't think it's conducive for great, family. you know, family. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't want my son to be a Division One coach. I remember going to the kids' games, but always having, um, you know, if Bob was playing, I'd have, you know, the earphones on, listening to his yeah. game, watching their games. It was always hard. I always, uh, you know, it was hard to decide whether to go to Scott's games or to go to Jeff's games mm -hmm. or go to watch Bob. I loved watching Scotty play for Bob. You know, that was fun. <laughs> It's hard watching Scott's game because it's like, it's like what Jerry's had to go through all the years. You know, sitting up in the stands is harder than when you're coaching. Because you're coaching, you're substituting, you're thinking about this, you're doing this, you're doing this. And then I go to Scott's games now, I got to sit up there and go, I, I want to sub, I can't do that. I want to call a timeout, I can't do that. You just got to cheer. A referee makes a bad call, you want to get up and argue it. You know, he's so competitive. Uh, he's got a fire about being successful. He had to prove things his whole life. Uh, you know, he had to prove that he was a good basketball player. He had to prove that he could play Division One. You know, he, he's had to do that. And, and so he's in that same mode. He, he, you know, he, he wants to prove that he's a good coach and he wants to prove that his team's better than your team. And um, he's competitive in a lot of areas. And it's not just basketball. Jeff, you know, we talk basketball sometimes. And, you know, he'll say, your defense is sorry, or you don't rotate very good. So he's in touch with it, but more from a fan standpoint. <laughs>